Morning everyone, you ready for a taste testing video? See if myself and the Diva sisters have the same tastes. Join me on the side of the intro and let's see if we do. Hit it maestro! Um, I'm well, it's a chocolate day and it's a Cadbury chocolate sauce today and this all started, it started just before Easter and um, I went to Cadbury World and if you've not watched that video I'll link it down below and I did a giveaway as well and I'll link that down below and while I was in there I thought of my diva sisters, um, the mouse diva Dana, Pixie Dust and Peaches Melissa and uh, Bells of Cotton Mitzi. And I'm sure many of you already know, we're the four closest of friends and we met through YouTube and we have such a special, special relationship. And sometimes we talk lots of times in the day, we tell jokes, we're there as a shoulder, we're just really good friends. And other times we don't talk for days a week, but that's how you are with real friends. And we've called ourselves the Diva Sisters because we're more like sisters and friends. Um, and they've got my back and I've got their backs and it's such a special relationship and when I was in Cadbury World I thought do you know what I'm gonna send them some chocolate because I know that their chocolate in America is very uh, sweet and not as milky as our Cadbury chocolate um, and the only thing I like of is it Hershey's is Reese's peanut butter cups or is that Reese's I don't know that's the only American chocolate I like because I like the creamy milky um, UK chocolate and Galaxy and Cadbury's are my favourite. So what I thought was, we're all very similar, but are we having the same tastes? Are we the same women, but in different bodies? So, <laughs> they're sitting there going, now going, oh my God, what she <laughs> So, I've sent eight bars of chocolate. We are going to taste them all. <laughs> We're going to taste them all and we're going to rank them in order of preference. Um, and I've already got a bit of um, an advantage because I've obviously been trialling this out for many years, 27 years. So I know what they all taste like, but I don't know which is my favourite, but shall we figure it out together? So and I can't wait to see if they have the same favourites as me or if they like something different. Because one of these bars of chocolate, I think, is foul. <laughs> In fact, I might start with that one because I don't like it at all. So, so right, shall we start? I am, I'm going to start with that one, get it over with. Turkish Delight. Oh my, oh my. I don't understand why it's made. I don't understand why people like it. Um, if any of my diva sisters like this, I will be gobsmacked. Um, this one, oh, I'll taste it and I'll show you. Oh, I haven't tried this for many a year. It smells fine on the outside. <laughs> so, okay, so I'll take a little bite because I can only do a little bite. <laughs> I forgot my cup of tea. Let me go and get my cup of tea. It's not as bad as I remember. But it's not good either, in my opinion. Let me get my cup of tea. I'm back. I've got my cup of tea. And what I also put in their boxes was I put them all an England mug. And I've got my Florida mug. Because I haven't got a Carolina mug. Girls, I haven't got a North or South Carolina mug. Am I being subtle? Maybe I need to do it a bit more forcefully. Anyway, cheers. Cheers, girls. Dana, Melissa, Mincy, cheers. So, oh dear, I'll take, I'll do another, take another bite, in fairness. I 
I think it's horrible. Sorry you're having to look at what I've bitten. It's like a pink jelly. But it's like petals. It's like it's like eating rose petals. It's it's horrible. I'm sorry, Cabris. I'm not sponsored, it's just my own opinion. But that is number eight. And that is my rubbish bag. <laughs> so that's on the floor. So that is definitely my least favourite. Right, so then. Now we've got a clear run of it. So let's go for the classic Bourneville. Now Bourneville is a dark chocolate and it's not got as much milk in it. It's a very dark chocolate. And obviously dark chocolate's really good of you, really good for you. Um, and it smells really rich and it, it, it's, it's, it's lovely. Mm. They're big bites, aren't they? Mm. But it's still really rich. It's really, really nice, those. I'm not really a dark chocolate girl. It's meant to be better for you. But that's really nice, so. Good for tea to wash it away. Really nice, so. Next. Marvellous Creations. And Marvellous Creations has got all bits inside it. I'm sure it's got popping candy, jelly, all sorts, jelly poppy candy inside and I do like this, but do I like it more than the others? I don't know. This, you know, this video is such a hardship to do. Are you doing with it? You should pause it, get a cup of tea and some chocolate and just pretend you're trying it. So. You know, I really like that, but the Bourneville's a classic. So, at the moment, Bourneville is leading. So I'm doing it like a little table here. And I'm slotting them in as I decide which order they're going in. Because you can never decide on all eight, especially when you like seven of them, so. Next, a crunchy. And I love this. This is honeycomb, so it melts. Um, I do like a, a crunchy. And crunchy is one of my dad's favourite chocolate bars. Interesting fact, that. I like that. And I like how it sticks to your teeth. Do you do that as well? And then not. Afterwards, for ages, right. So, four down, four to go. It's about tea time now. So there's no calories either. Cheers. Right, next. Next. Curly whirlies. And curly whirlies are. Is it three sins, or they were, on Weight Watchers dieting? Um, and that's when it's a whole bar. And they're really not many calories, but it's fundamentally um, like a toffee caramel. So it's not hard toffee, it's not a soft caramel. It's a toffee caramel, so it's got a bit of chew to it with chocolate on. But you have to watch your fillings. I'm going to the dentist in the morning, so we're covered. I'll speed this bit up. I 
I wonder how Melissa Bitsy got on recording that with it being so chilly. Oh, it does. <laughs> I'm really wicked. So the next one is Cadbury's Caramel, and that's how we pronounce it, caramel, um, not caramel. Is that how you say it? I get really confused. But we call it Cadbury's Caramel, and it's like a liquid caramel. Um, yeah, I love this. <laughs> this is going to be really, really taxing. And this, the six portions, not that I've had it often, and I know how many there are, in a little bar. And all the bars in the UK are getting smaller. So, can you see that? Look, liquid, can you see? I'll do another, watch. <laughs> Better try that piece as well, I not I? Shame to waste it. I love that. It's sweet. It's creamy. The children's screaming. I think that's what they're all going to say is their favourite. I like that. Then, two more to go. I'm saving the mint one till last. I wonder if they'll save the mint one till last because it'll just ruin your taste for the rest of them. So, picnic, it's full of peanuts, nuts, raisins, and uh, creamy milk chocolate. Do you know, I couldn't get a job as a taste tester, could I, for Cadbury's? And if I had to on my camera, I wouldn't gain any weight, would I? So that's what your bar looks like. It's all knobbly because of all your nuts and raisins inside the chocolate. Right. Oh, and it's got, a, look at this, I look like a chipmunk. Dana, look, chipmunk. Um, it's got biscuit and caramel in it as well, so. Maybe nougat, can't remember. I really like that as well. Okay, I think. Right, last one. Fries chocolate cream, which is now a Cadbury's pro product. Right. So, now this, I've got a mint filling. And it's a mint fondant. So it's not liquid and it's not hard. It's a soft fondant. So a bit like the top of a um, cupcake, if you like. That sort of texture, but just a little bit more chewy. So a fondant cream. My mum loves these. And it's in a dark chocolate. The smooth fondant, so it's dark chocolate. This, so you've got your fries bar. It's got a fry on it. So, looks like. Very strong. I've done it. <laughs> I did it and I didn't eat all the chocolates you notice. Yet. That's my favourite word in life. Yet. I haven't been somewhere yet. So, in least favourite to favourite, my least favourite one was the Turkish Delight because I think it's horrible. <laughs> then the fries chocolate cream, because 
It's a very strong minty taste. And the chocolate. That's not one of my favourites either. Then surprisingly, Marvellous Creations. Now there's been many a Saturday night I've had some Marvellous Creations. But I think the others um, just won, won me over a bit more. Number four from the bottom is Bourneville Chocolate. So that's my fifth choice favourite. My fourth favourite is the Curly Squiggles, Curly Whirly. I do like those. Then the top three in third position is a crunchy. I do love a crunchy and a crunchy goes nice with the cup of tea because of the honeycomb and it's really sweet but it's not because it's only a small bar it's not overpowering so that one top two this is a tricky one which is my favorite it's a picnic I like the nuts and the raisins it gives you a sweet fix without it being all sugar if that makes sense and then I love a caramel Cabris caramel I love that so my favorite is most definitely picnic and my least favorite is Turkish delight so girls over to you which did you like and which did you not like and does it mean we're true sisters sisters of the same taste <laughs> down in the description box I'll link their videos go check them out and let's see if we are true sisters diva sisters we'll be divas but are we true sisters thanks for watching everyone I hope you enjoy this a bit of fun be good be kind take care of yourselves and I'll see you really soon bye for now everyone bye <laughs>